Yeah, I'm from Indiana. Check my tattoos. I'm pulling bad women. Plus, I'm icy too. Terra Ho, a level above. Nobody do it like I does it. Show my city love. Hooked up with me, see? Now I'm making moves. Went from a double wide trailer to nine rooms. All my country boys, let's get buck. Cops coming. Throw them balls like Andrew Luck. My money long. I'm paper chasing. I'm falling now like Indiana Pacers. Evansville. Gary, too. Nap time. Let's act the fool. Fort Wayne. Come on, let's ride. Let's show them how these goons do it in the crooked eye. I'm putting on with every song. This white boy's repping Indiana till I'm dead and gone. I'm from Indiana. I'm from Indiana. Hey, what's up, everybody? Fatboy Dan here, and I'm on the Wallbacks River. I want to bring this little intro to you guys. While I was out on Memorial Day weekend a while back, man, I had some of the best fishing in my whole entire life. I've caught a lot of fish that day, mainly on bank lines, because when it comes to the river, I love setting out bank lines, uh, also known as trout lines. Also caught some on rod and reel. But I, I want to show you guys this. It's kind of stood out in my catches that on that weekend. A little bit odder than some of my other catches. And it was actually an American eel I found out later. Now I caught this in the same area as you can see right now, up above Terre Haute. You know, big four train back there. That's the bridge. But I set a bank line out right here, and I, I pull up to it, as you'll see in this video coming. I pulled up to it, and I started getting it in. I was like, oh, my God, and I caught something on. I, I didn't, At first, I thought I was snagged underneath the rock. And I started pulling it, and big old snake looking thing come out and I was like whoa you know and I've never caught a snake looking thing I knew it wasn't a snake because I know what a snake looks like but then I knew what a lamprey kind of looked like because I've seen lampreys in some of these uh invasion books that I do have so then I was like man I thought I had a lamprey for a minute but then I was like the lamprey don't have the mouth kind of looking and then my girlfriend she was here and she was like well, kind of looks like an eel you know like they have it in the ocean so uh, you'll hear me in this video say I got a lamprey, which I thought it was, but evidently it wasn't. But then once I got it back to the bank, you'll see two where I'm holding it up. Y'all stay tuned till the end, but I got a American eel they're called. Now I guess not many people catch them out here, and they are pretty ugly, but a few have caught it. Myself, I looked in the Indiana Game Fish magazine. There's no record on it. So I was like, wow, okay. I looked in the identification book. Couldn't find nothing on it either. So I didn't know whether to kill it or let it live on myself. I CPR a lot of things. So I went ahead and I let it live on. I photoed it and I released it and it went back to live on. Now you guys watch this clip, man. You tell me what you think. And also, just to let you guys know, I'm claiming this one as Indiana's record. That's right. It was 38 inches long. I wind up measuring on my back here. I got a, a big old all the way to you know, 72 inches back here I can go, but it was right under uh, right right under 39, which I'm gonna call it 38 uh, inches length. And like I said, Indiana don't have it listed as a record book. My buddy Brenda Kearns, he's sending off picture off to the DNR biologist in Indianapolis. They're excited to see this picture. Uh, but I'm calling it Indiana's record because Indiana don't have it. And for myself, I measured it. We didn't weigh it, so that's none. But I guess they can determine the the weight on it from the inches. So I claim the Indiana record because there's not one. Maybe I'm wrong, guys, but the book don't say it, so I'm claiming it's Indiana's American Eel Record by Fat Boy Dan 2016. Y'all stay tuned to this clip right here, man. I'm going to get back to fishing. Hope y'all enjoy this. Look at that right there, what I just caught off a bank line. Oh, my God. That is a big... No! It ain't coming toward me, buddy. Oh, my God, it's a sea lamprey. Yeah, I'm not worried about that right now. I'm not. I did that hook will hold the boat. This thing's scary. I do not want to mess with that. I want to know what y'all think about that. I think I am right. That is a sea lamprey. And I don't. Yeah. I do not know about that. That's crazy. Buddy, I, I'm gonna let you go back, but man, are you supposed to kill these or? 
I have no idea. I just know I don't want to touch it. It's one ugly looking fish. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah, looks like an electrical eel. Yeah. Oh, I tell you what, that is crazy looking, man. I've never caught one of them in my life. But I must say, I must say it's something else. All right, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up my game book and see if I gotta kill it, keep it alive or what. That's what Cupboard Dance Great Outdoors is all about. I mean, that thing's probably gonna be a good three foot. If that gives you an idea. I'm sorry, buddy. No. Holy snap, it is three foot. Look at that thing. Oh my god. I don't know what to do with that. That is crazy. Yeah, I'm no pro fisherman, guys. But I'm gonna check the book, man. And I'll come back to you in a minute on this. Alright, guys. I looked through two books. One was my fishing guide, which don't tell me nothing about this. And Invaders of the Great Looks book. Great Looks book. Uh, the Invaders of the Great Lake book. I can't find out what this is in either one of the books. So I don't know whether I'm supposed to kill it, keep it, or whatnot. No matter what, this video will tell you what it is. Because you guys can tell me in the comments below. Let me know what exactly what this is. I believe it's some kind of eel. I don't believe it's electrical eel. But some kind of eel. Maybe it means good water quality. Maybe not. I don't know. I release a lot of my fish, almost all of my fish, 99% of the time. And I'm going to release this one. If somehow I'm, I'm not supposed to release it back. I would suggest putting a picture in one of these books saying do not release back. Like I said, hey, Asian carp, I show a picture of that. But, but maybe this ain't nothing. Maybe it's just a regular eel and it's common. My years of fishing on the river, I think I've only seen one. Go, buddy, go. Swim. Whew. Release him back. Come on. There you go. Oh my god, that thing's ugly. I wasn't about to touch it. I don't care. I don't care. I ain't gonna touch that. Ugly <laughs> fish. It's been one of the best days, night yesterday on the Wabash River. Best day of my life of ever fishing. I caught so many fish. My elbows are hurting. I got catfish thumb, catfish knuckles, from drums, channel cats, to flatheads, to these eels. Best day of my life, man, on the river fishing. Fat Boy Dan is a great outdoors, and I live to fish, and I will fish to live.